Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA here at Battlezone Fighting Championship, standing alongside a victorious Owen Drumgoul. And Owen, I have to say, against the guy who's been training a lot longer than you, uh, I think he's been grappling close to 10 years. And fair enough, I've eaten my words from the start of the summer. I wrote you off at the last Battlezone tournament, you proved me completely wrong, and then tonight you proved me wrong again. When is this going to stop? Yeah, well, that was all the inspiration. I heard you were giving me an awful tough time before the last tournament. Um, I wouldn't say an awful tough time now. And as a fan of the podcast, you should know exactly what I said. <laughs> um, well, I felt I should have had that belt back in July or whatever it was. And I left myself down a little bit there. So, yeah, there was a lot of motivation going into this one. That performance tonight, that finish especially. Uh, finish of the night, I have to say. The sort of knockout that when the guy just hits the ground, he hits the ground in one clump. Uh, left hook. Did you feel that you had the definitive advantage in the striking? Um, I thought I had an advantage wherever I went. I know he's good jits, but I didn't think he's going to be able to take me down. Um, we trained with some great lads, some great wrestlers. Like me and Sean Paul, Sean Paul's one of the best featherweights in the country. We were up there every Tuesday, Thursday, rounds and rounds and rounds. And I knew he wasn't going to be able to take me down. That's so, it. So wherever the fight went, I was prepared. I felt comfortable. That was one of the things I was going to ask. Uh, new cornermen in the corner. Uh, obviously, Malahide Martial Arts and Team Rhino are linked together due to John training under Andy, but now it seems like most of your training has been done up in Team Rhino. Um, yeah, it's just something... I've, I've trained a Rhino for every fight, and I was fighting with John, and I owe a lot to all of them. I owe a lot to John for help getting me started at the start, um, but it's just something that made more sense for me at the time. And I owe you, thanks to all the lads in Rhino. I think I've come on a long way in the last weeks, months, year. Um, so I owe everyone a big thanks there. Yeah. I don't mean this in a bad way, but compared to the last couple of times we've spoken, uh, you've always seemed a very emotional guy. You wore your heart in the sleeve. Now you seem a little bit more reserved, a little bit drawn back. Um, that was one of the things. I felt more calm than ever in there. Usually, I, I suppose it's just the experience um, that I want to be relaxed. I want to be calm. I want to be able to perform, do what I know I can do. Um, so, yes, yeah, keeping the emotions in check, I suppose. Just experience. Lovely. Uh, it was announced there, Battle Zone are back again January, end of January sometime. Are we going to be defending this belt or are you going to take Christmas off? I don't know. We might get fat for Christmas. Um, go for the next belt up. Go, yeah, yeah, lightweight. Who has the lightweight belt? Um, I don't mind. Uh, I'll enjoy myself over the next few now and we'll see what the story is. I, can, like, I don't cut a lot of weight. I'm 70 kilos if even here. I tell you, I can get on the scales now, 70 kilos. Um, so it's never a big issue I stay in shape as well. So, lovely. Oh, thank you very much. Andrew, see you so. soon. Look forward to it.